Good morning, guys. Today I'm giving you a art and math challenge. Um, so grab a piece of paper, a ruler. Um, if you don't have a ruler, some graph paper works really good, and then you don't have to worry about measuring anything. And what you're going to do is you are going to be designing your own park. Um, you can do it by, uh, on the grid paper, each square, kind of counting it across. If you have regular paper, maybe you can draw out a 10 inch by 10 inch section with your ruler, and then you can put some grid lines on it too. But here's the rules for your park. Your park needs to be 30 squares by 30 squares, or 10 by 10 inches if you're using a ruler. In your park, you need to have a pavilion, bathrooms, drinking fountain, sports area, and it could be um, a basketball court, it could be tennis courts, a baseball diamond, a football field, whatever you want sports-wise. You need to have playground equipment with at least five different things for kids to play on. You need to have sidewalks or a walking trail. You can have grassy areas. You need to also have a parking area. You can add other things if you want, like a pond or a stream or um, like a wooded area, that's up to you. You need to color your map for your playground. And then you also need to create a legend, which is, um, it's like a, you show on there what each color equals. So maybe red is your pavilion and that way you don't have to draw the details they can tell by color. In your legend, you also need to show what percentage each thing takes up of your whole playground. So if your pavilion is um, 100 squares out of the 900 squares that your park is, because 30 times 30 would be 900, you need to figure out the fraction or the percentage that that would be. So actually, my kids are working on this right now at home too. They're sitting right back here at the table. They're all making theirs, and I'll post one, some of the pictures that theirs looks like. Um, but have fun creating your own park. See you later.